The Crude Life with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Crude Life Daily Update. Thank you folks for joining us. On today's episode, we talk with Joel Brown, co-founder of MineralTracker.com. He talks about their new tracking service and also gives an update from Watford City. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with Joel Brown of Mineral Tracker, right here on the Crude Life Daily Update. And so the Bakken has kind of taken the back seat to the Permian as far as media coverage at the very least. And so the things that are being said in the media, I think, are largely aimed towards Permian operators and Permian production, less so than it is towards the Bakken. Uh, if the trends that I see as being, you know, one of the handful of people that is very Bakken focused and certainly mostly from a reservoir engineering standpoint and then from a financial standpoint, looking at what I've seen in the Bakken, it, it gives me lots of reasons for optimism, actually. The, the, the increases in the size of fracking that we have out here, the, the high intensity completions that uh, operators are all trending towards now and are implementing successfully has really led to what I think should be a marker towards a uh, renaissance in the Bakken. Uh, what I've seen is that over the past couple of years, I've seen average EUR, that stands for estimated ultimate recovery, uh, meaning how much oil and how much gas is going to be produced from each one of these wells over its entire productive life. I've seen that trend up uh, from what had previously been about 350,000 barrels per well uh, as an average EUR in the Bakken for uh, about the past decade, really. Um, and I see that number closer to 600,000 now. So you're talking about close to an 80% increase in average EUR just experienced over the past couple of years. And that was Joel Brown with MineralTracker.com. To listen to the full-length interview, or to check out other exclusive interviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. Be part of our ever-growing army of energy enthusiasts at thecrudelife.com social media pages. Facebook, Twitter, YouTubes. Go to thecrudelife.com, click on the social media page. We have all of our network right there. 350,000 energy enthusiasts. From the staff at the Crude Life Daily Update, my name is Jason Spies. With your daily reminder that it's more than an industry, it's a way of life. Historic, the first full conversion refinery to be built in the U.S. in over 40 years. Innovative, the cleanest, most technologically advanced downstream project ever. The model for future shale basin projects. Groundbreaking, with construction resuming in early 2019. The Davis Refinery. Jason Spies, the most trusted voice in the Bakken. I totally agree with you, and the word that you brought into this is fact. You tell the facts, and then you let people make up their own minds. If you want someone who's competent, you don't want to get a bunch of rookies. Love listening to Jason Spies on the radio, and if I miss him there, I catch him online. Let's bring in Jason Spies, who is a multimedia journalist in North Dakota. Um, Jason, what's your thought on this? No one does an interview like Jason Spies. 